talking with him about his problems. Live, local, late breaking. From the WHIO Broadcast Center in Dayton, this is News Center 7. A new at 11, the Ohio Attorney General's Office and the FBI are investigating after black Ohioans got racist, anonymous text messages after Election Day. Now, this is a screenshot of a message from our news partners, WBNS and WCPO. It talked about picking cotton at plantations. People in Columbus and Cincy got other messages about mass deportation of immigrants. Investigators said people got messages in other states as well. The FBI said it was aware of the offensive and racist text messages sent to individuals around the country and is in contact with the Justice Department and other federal authorities on this matter. Tonight, we have not heard about anyone getting these sorts of messages here in the Miami Valley. Jail tonight for two guys, police said, and connected them to a robbery where they threatened to shoot a child. This crime happened on East Siebenthal Avenue in Dayton Monday night. We're talking about Tyrone Montes and Petty Jamaran Halpool. A couple told officers the two had a gun and forced them in their house. After threatening the child, police said Petty and Pool took the victim's car keys, phones, and ran. A Northern Ohio teacher just admitted having an inappropriate relationship with a student younger than 13 south of Cleveland. The school put the Strongsville teacher on administrative leave last year. He pleaded guilty to gross sexual imposition. The judge has yet to sentence him. New at 11, want to take you to Beaver Creek and uh, look at this hole. A car slammed into this nursing home, and this happened around 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can see right there between the two bushes, kind of right in the middle of your screen right there. This was at the Legacy Health Services building on Fairfield Road. Not clear tonight why that driver lost control or if anybody was hurt. The Federal Reserve cut interest rates by a quarter point today. Now credit card interest rates are dropping along with the cost of taking out a loan for cars. But mortgage rates, they're actually headed the other way. That's because mortgages are influenced more by the bond market than the Fed. Now that the election results are in, the bond market is somewhat worried that Trump tariffs could lead to higher prices. The Fed meets again in December. New data in the coming weeks on inflation, spending, and employment will influence its next rate decision. Hidden fees on school lunches, yeah, they are very real, at least for the next three years anyway. But today, the U.S. Department of Agriculture made the move to ban schools from charging fees to families who qualify for free or reduced meals. It said families pay up to 60 cents in processing fees for each dollar spent on school meals. And with Veterans Day next Monday, the Greater Dayton RTA said people are going to get to ride for free. This involves fixed route buses and rides on RTA Connect. The Ohio Veteran Hall of Fame inducted 20 new members today, as you can see with this picture. This was for their outstanding military accomplishments. Some of the vets were from Montgomery, Green, and Clark Counties. This included J.P. Nassif, now president and CEO of Jobs Ohio. Dayton's Second Street Market has several festive events planned for this month and next. Before Thanksgiving, there is a Stock Up Wednesday. This is going to give shoppers the opportunity to grab meal essentials for the holiday. And people love this tradition, Breakfast with Santa. That's December 15th and the 22nd. That yet to pique your interest, huh? Sure did, yeah. And to see what else is happening, of course, you will find a link at whio.com. And our good friend Austin is here. And uh, I just got a text from a friend of mine in Colorado Springs, about this? south of Denver. Yeah. He's only got six inches of snow yeah. out there. But you go a little further north, head north, closer to Denver, a little bit southeast. You're talking about, I mean, some, some very impressive Well, we're snow. talking about this much snow. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at some of the forecast, and, you know, Dayton averages 25 inches of snow per year, but southeast of Denver, it's been tomorrow night, 19 inches. And, and, and you know, I was telling Austin, I grew up in Colorado, and, and you would expect that. I said, is that in the mountains? He said, no, it's southeast of Denver, which is more kind of out in the plains, yeah. but kind of the way this, 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 this moisture is moving up in that low to the south is what's causing, I guess, so much of this snow. Yeah, and you can look at it now on satellite. The low currently is just parked to the south, and notice the flow around it, that counterclockwise flow just pumping in all this moisture. So yeah, they're snowing right now southeast of Denver. They've got another 24 hours plus of this snow, and no doubt about it, they're going to get a foot southeast of the Denver metro, up to 19 inches in some places. Now, there's a lot of moisture with this system. I mean, we can see the rain extending back through Kansas and Oklahoma, severe weather down there in Texas. Eventually, tomorrow, this storm system gets on the move and it starts heading in our direction to give us some problems this weekend. 
no snow, temperatures are going to be just way too warm for that. But we should see a good rain out of this by Saturday night. For the day tomorrow, high pressure is building in. That's going to give us a nice sunny day, so a nice way to end the work week. And in advance of that, we have clear skies overhead. Temperatures are dropping as a result. Look at the numbers across the board. Already 43 degrees tonight here in Dayton. We've got 36 on the board there in Wapak. 37 degrees currently in Urbana, and no doubt we get colder tonight, so that jacket will be needed at the bus stop in the morning. Live look right now into Dayton. We are uh, clear in Dayton with no fog, but fog is the one little weather concern we do have overnight tonight. Check out the latest run of Futurecast working towards tomorrow morning. It'll be patchy, but where it does form, it could be thick, so be mindful of that tomorrow morning. Be sure to check in with weather specialist Nick Dunn. He'll let you know where those fog issues have developed. But you see the sun comes up, the temperatures warm up, no problems by mid-morning tomorrow. Let's check out your forecast hour by hour on Skycast. That chilly start to the day does give way to a milder afternoon. There's plenty of sunshine tomorrow, hardly a cloud in the sky. So by 1 p.m. we are already at 61 degrees, and then high temperatures tomorrow should reach the low, even middle 60s in a few spots. That's a dry forecast for Friday, and we've now taken the rain chance out for Saturday. Sunday, though, it's a different ball game. We've got that slow-moving front coming through, and I think especially the first half of your day on Sunday, it's looking pretty soggy out there. Let's check it out on Futurecast. Again, Saturday, get outside, enjoy the weather. We are going to have more clouds coming in as the day goes on, but no threat for rain until well after sunset. Then early on Sunday morning, here comes that rain. You see through mid to late morning, it's a good soaking out there. Interestingly, though, we get another cold front through here, it clears out the rain, but in behind it, no cold air. We stay mild with highs in the 60s through much of next week. So here's my Storm Center 7-day forecast. Tomorrow we'll call it 64 here in Dayton under a mostly sunny sky. Then we're watching that weekend rain chance. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we are dry with temperatures sitting pretty there in the low to mid-60s. We could have a game changer, though, coming on Thursday. Strong cold front. It gives us rain, but look at the temperature, 57, and we could get a good bit colder just past the 7-day so we'll be fine-tuning that part of the forecast tomorrow. All right, Austin, people rely on this place and its low prices, but that's about the end, and some shoppers told us that does not make any sense.